This week on Grow Cookies, we're tackling a colourful monster of the veg world. But enough about Karen, this week it's all about <laughs> pumpkins. Oh, I am so going to get you for that. Yes, it is all about pumpkins, um, a veg that is synonymous with Halloween and carving, but actually it's way, way more yeah. than that. It's an incredibly versatile veg to cook with, really, really tasty, stores brilliantly, and it's very, very easy to grow. So when it comes to pumpkins, it's not just buy, carve and dump. It really is all about grow, cook and eat. Oh, nice. On in, in this pumpkin variety. Pumpkin. So this is a ginormous novelty pumpkin, right? So okay. only do this if you've got enough space in your garden. Uh, hang on, when you, say, when you say enough space, are you talking this twice like the size the of this table? the size of a small car. It's like a 50 kilo pumpkin, right? So you're going to be sewing it about two centimeters deep yeah. and then put it on its edge. So that, that means if you, if you plant them flat, the water will kind of sit on them and they can rot. So right. the second variety we've got, this is called, I can't pronounce this because it's French and we should ask, we should ask, <laughs> should ask JB. JB. But I think it's Rouge Vive de Temps. Oh yeah, bien sûr. Um, and this is an amazing eating pumpkin, right? It's, it's a big pumpkin, it's about seven to 10 kilos in size. So same process again, just get your, get your seed, stick it down into the soil about two centimeters and then get your label in straight away because you, you're not going to know the difference. And then this final one is, is we're going to do in these little things. These are core pots. They're made yeah. out of coconut husks and you can plant from here straight into the ground and they'll just degrade. These will degrade, yeah. degrade down. After, so it really takes nice. about two, three months for them yeah. to degrade, but they, they just disappear nice and they actually improve the soil as well. So this last one we're doing is, is a variety called pot of gold. So these are only about three kilos in size. So okay. that's it. Get them in there. They're very cold sensitive, so you need to keep them inside until at least June. The other, the last thing, obviously, to, to, to do is to give them water. water. So we need to keep the keep the compost moist all the time. Don't let them dry out. Okay. And then keep them somewhere warm and sunny for the next month, and then they'll be ready to plant out. A month later, and our plants are ready to leave the greenhouse and go out into the garden. So it doesn't look like we've got a huge amount of space for these in this bed, does it, in fairness? No. So we're going to have space for two of these. Right. We have three varieties, if you remember. This beautiful one is called Rouge Vive de Tomp. And then I have a little pot of gold. And then... Big Max. Big Max. So we're not, <laughs> That's not going to fit we're here. We're not going to plant that no. here because it would take okay. over half the, half the garden. So we're going to okay. give that to Richard's plant. So the thing about pumpkins is that incredibly hungry. Yeah. So again, to, to produce that much food, you're talking serious amount of energy. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to get all the nutrition into the planting hole. OK, so down yeah. for the, from, at root level. We're going to dig a pretty big ho hole to, to start with, right? And we're going to get two handfuls of yeah. uh, poultry manure pellets and then a, and a handful of the seaweed dust, right? So that's going to give it lots of the nutrients it needs for fruiting. So we give it a good good mix around and then we can get our the rouge vive God, the top really there. Does highlight the importance of labeling your plants, doesn't it? It does. And all the different varieties. Because they look identical. So do yeah. you want to finish that one off there yeah. and I'll get this done. All right, so that's that done. So you're going to get that into the container. I am. I'm going to give this to you to give to Richard. Okay. And I'm going to do a bit of watering okay. here, yeah, just okay. to water them in. Right. Richard, our head grower, is planting the Big Macs in the same way, but in a much larger plot out the back of Grow HQ. We'll check back in a few months to see if Big Macs lives up to his name. But from macro to micro, it's time to head over to Container Corner. I'm going to do exactly in the container what we did over at the raised bed, which is give this um, pumpkin plant a load of lovely soil. Now, normally we wouldn't add any more feed to the potting compost, but remember Mick was saying earlier, they're really, really hungry. So not quite as much in the raised beds, maybe one handful of each, maybe a little bit more, just because I can. Mix it all up. Now, so we squidge it in, stick in the thing. It's basically as simple as that. Well rested after Kelly's, Karen's back at Grow HQ and she's having a special moment. Okay, so don't actually tell Mick, but I didn't think that I was going to be able to grow pumpkins in containers. It didn't make sense to me that something that big was going to grow in something this small. But look, we totally have. Now, I know the leaves themselves look like something out of a Halloween horror movie, 
That's because there isn't half as much nutrients or soil in the containers to sustain this growth like they do in the raised beds. But it doesn't matter because the end result is two beautiful pumpkins. So we still have to snip them off just like so. So there we are. I am so glad that I even proved myself wrong and I am definitely going to give these another go again next year. Fair play, Karen. You might want to look away though, as Richard's Big Max may be the star of this show. In just three months, we've got a 30 kilo pumpkin. They grow up so fast. So fast. But here, what about the main crop? Mick, it's your turn to shine. Look at these beauties. What a vibrant They're colour. They're they? amazing. And they make it all look and feel very autumnal. This, yep. this plant has two pumpkins on it. This one and this one, and that one over there has one. So this is like, Thanks, this is your one. I got that. And these are my two. <laughs> <laughs> no. So you go get that one. Okay. And I'll harvest this one and then we're nearly done. Now, it's a beauty. Look at that, isn't that? Yeah. Like just, that is it an amazing It feels like kind of a of circle food. of life moment. Like you need to hold up your pumpkin. But I'm not going to try and sing uh. Elton John. <laughs> no, no, neither are you. No, neither am I. We couldn't be more proud of our pumpkins. Now all that's left to do is clear the beds and get into the kitchen.